Hey guys, welcome back to Your 6 Covered. Appreciate you showing up. And I'm finally getting around to doing the review on the security umbrella that you can get at securityumbrellas.com. Now, I went out and bought this thing for the main reason of having a little bit of, uh, well, at least to feel better about being in another country, in a few countries actually, and having something to protect myself and my family. Uh, being a concealed carrier here in the United States, you know, it's always nice to have a pocket knife and, and, a, and a pistol. Some of the things that are uh, kind of concerning to me was we were going over to France, we were going to Ireland, Scotland, and a bunch of other places. Basically nine different areas, nine few, few different countries. And uh, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to carry a knife and I wasn't going to be able to carry a pistol. Uh, what we did was we were on a cruise ship and we would, each morning we would wake up somewhere new. But I knew that there was a lot of stuff going on. You'd see in the, uh, you see in the news or you'd see on YouTube about acid attacks. People throwing acid on, uh, you know, men and women. And basically, and I was worried about that. I was worried about uh, just being in a foreign country and not having any way to protect myself. And I was, I had a chat going. It was quite a, quite a while now. And somebody said, hey, why don't you look at those umbrellas? Uh, Canadian Prepper just did a video on that, uh, on an umbrella that was basically made as a club. And I was like, okay, I'm going to look into this. I did look into it. And it looked really good. Let me give you the specs real quick. And then I'll show you how cool this thing is. The overall length on this is 36 inches. The, the tip of the spear, if you want to call it, is three and a half inches long. The all walnut handle, solid walnut. Um, just the wood part is five inches and then what makes this thing unbelievable, besides this defensive end here and this basically billy club end on this side, is that it's made with a graphite, I think it's a half inch, half inch shaft all the way runs through this thing and it is, it is tight, it is, I just don't think you can find an umbrella that can do what it needs to do. A lot of umbrellas can block the rain, that kind of stuff, but I wasn't caring about the rain. I was caring about having some type of weapon like this to protect myself and my family when we were on the streets. So some of the things you'll see is it has a, it has a case, and the case was very handy. You can see right here, it just comes in a little bag with a shoulder strap, and I'll kind of show you how I carried it. I did use it a couple times um, just for the rain but I'd hold it like this and if I needed to deploy it I could just fling it over and basically use it as a, a nice beating tool but I carried it around like that it's very easy and then you got a full-size club a lot of weight on this end this big walnut thing I mean I'm whacking the crud out of this thing you know you got the ability to poke right in the throat with this thing it is very very you know I can deploy it like this if I want to be in the shade if I want to be out of the rain if I want to protect myself from them throwing a chemical on me this is better than nothing but having the ability to do some of this stuff definitely was nice but just I mean you can really just get on this thing 
This is not going to be a fun day for this guy. What's nice about it is you have distance now. You know, I got a full arm's length, say so he's trying to attack me with a knife. I have the ability to basically do this, but I have the ability to poke him anywhere. Anybody that's getting poked by this full strength is not going to be happy. They're going to rethink this. They're going to rethink it. This end, the club end of this thing is, is nuts. I mean, you could seriously do some fatal blows if you needed to. Um, or you could basically just, you know, you can do whatever you want. But it, make, it makes for a great weapon for where to hit them. But, you know, neck, ribs, down here by your, basically your sternum runs your xiphoid process. Anything in the neck, the eyes, the nose. You know, even this, this is going to hurt people. This is going to make them think twice. You know, the same with this. I don't think anybody's going to sit there and stand around and get this done to them. But when you have that thing deployed and it just comes out, I mean, you're instantly right here. You got a nice, nice weapon, two hands. But let's show you guys the inside of this thing and you'll see why it's so, so bitching. All right, so all heavy graphite. You can see this thing is thick. I don't know. Let me see if I can try to bend it for you. They showed videos of people standing on these. You know, it was like this. They had a chair over here, a chair on this side, and you know, a, a lady standing right here in the middle. Probably weighed 125 pounds or something. But this thing, the full construction, you're gonna see all these are graphite. All the ribs or whatever these are called that run the long, these are all graphite as well. Heavy duty springs in here. You know, it locks in, you can deploy it out. But this thing, for the tool, he did. So, see that? I even tore down my, my makeshift <laughs> thing. So you guys stay, take care, hope you enjoy the video. See you on the next one. Like, share, and subscribe, bye.